Hey YouTube, how are y'all doing today? Welcome to today's one take vlog. Before we even get started, I just want to ask how are you all doing today? Comment below, let me know how y'all doing because you guys should be having the best day of your life. Well, every day should be the best of your life. So, before we end all this before we get away, I did post an unboxing video. As you can see, unboxing video. I still have all the boxes stuff. So. I go check that out if you like those kind of things. I got some pretty cool stuff actually wearing one of the things I got. So yeah, it was actually a really good unboxing. I actually like what I got. So also check out the gym vlogs also I did today. So there's four videos today and I think that's really good. So yeah. So what do I want to talk about in today's one take vlog? Um... So, I got something actually. Universal, well, not Universal, Comcast Corporation just confirmed they did purchase the land on Orlando from I, an iDrive. Now, what do you all think this is going to be? Um, personally, like people are saying it's going to be a theme park, a couple hotels, and city walks, which I think that's what it's going to be. But, yeah. So, they did confirm, Universal did not confirm, Comcast confirmed it, and I don't think it was, with, Universal had a hard time like trying to keep things hidden. Like with King Kong got announced in a conference call. What um Fast and Fears got announced on opening day on accident by the the act one of the actresses and the the actress on the ride. They have a hard time keeping things secret. So So if this is a theme park, what do you all think is gonna be in this theme park? Comment below we get comment below and let me know what you guys think is gonna be a theme park. I personally think it's going to be a theme park and it's going to be try to rival Star Wars Land. Because Harry Potter is good and all, but when Star Wars Land opens up to Hollywood Studios, that's going to be a bombshell. People are like, oh my god, this is amazing. And they also have Toy Story Land opening up too. So they have two big lands coming up with three e-ticket rides between the two lands. And Star Wars Land has room for expansion too, so they might going to expand it as well. So, what will Universal do to counter this? That's the biggest question. Are they going to open more Harry Potter? They could, but will they? I don't know. It's a lot of land. They're probably going to build a couple more hotels, and they're probably going to build another theme park. But what theme park will this be? We don't know what theme park it's going to be. We don't know really anything about it. So it will be interesting to see what happens, but, you know, we're going to see what happens. One guarantee is for sure, there will be a lot of 3D rides at this park. I'm sorry for one who loves 3D rides. I like them too. But I don't like going to a theme park and feeling like I'm in the movie theater the whole day. Cause I mean, Gringotts 3D. Every single park has 3D rides, and like that's why I kind of prefer Islands of Adventure because there's only one ride that's 3D at Islands of Adventure, and that's Spider-Man. Well, not for long because Forbidden Journey is gonna get 3D overlay if that does well. But I think that's gonna be way too nauseous for some people wearing like the 3D glasses, and they're gonna fly off too probably. I don't know. It's going to be interesting what happens for, with Forbidden Journey if it does well. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the Universal Talk. Oh, before we get away from this talk, actually, when else do you think it's going to open? Because Star Wars Land is going to be open by the end of 2018. Because what they're going to do with Star Wars Land is that they're going to finish the construction when Disney Springs is done, middle of this year. They're going to move all those construction workers to Hollywood Studios to help out with that. And then after Avatar lands on, they're gonna move all the Avatar workers to you know, Disney's Hollywood Studios. So they're gonna be they're gonna be working fast to get Hollywood Studios done. Because Disney you know when Hollywood Studios gets done, that park is gonna move up to probably be if not the best, the second best, because Animal Kingdom my favorite Disney park, but when Star Wars Land opens up, when Star Wars Land, Toy Story Land opens up and the Hollywood Studios becomes a awesome park with a lot to do. It could give Animal Kingdom a run for its money, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, so that is about it for this one take vlog. I know it's one take vlog. It's a bit short. I do apologize for it, but you know, I'm just trying to figure things out. Um, I was just, I just want to talk about that one thing about the Comcast purchase. But other than that, that is about it. As always, comment below. Let me know, as I asked before. Comment below, let me know what do you think is going to happen at this park. And as a, and also, I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, day, evening, night whenever you watch this video. Because every day should be that for you guys. I love you guys as always. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.